We have a question that's uh, interesting. How can I apply the fourth way system in an ongoing situation with my mother? Every time she calls my name, I feel resistance, I feel tightness throughout my chest, and I become very negative. Yes, so what's the problem with that? It sounds to me like you're applying the fourth way system. You're aware of the situation. You're aware that every time your mother calls your name, you have these negative reactions. You have this, these sensations in your body, and you feel negative. What does feel negative mean? I don't want to do whatever it is she asks. I feel all this resistance, emotion. Mm. So, you, so you don't know what you feel then. Right. How you apply the fourth way system to that is you start to look at the emotions. You start to look at, you're not going to be able to look at the emotions so much, but you're going to be able to look at the sensations. So you look at the sensations and say, okay, these are the sensations. Then you look and see, then you start to connect up the centers. So if you're looking at the sensations, you're looking at the, the which centers? Emotional. No. Sensations are not in the emotional center, Jess. Instinctive moving. Instinctive moving center. So now you look at the emotional center. You're not going to be able to find anything there probably because you've just looked and you haven't found anything. So then what center do you look in? You look in the intellectual center. What kinds of thoughts do you have that you associate with these sensations and this whole situation? So you start to look at the thoughts. And then you track down the thoughts. What eyes are they? What groups of eyes are talking? What are they saying? They're saying, oh, what does she want now? Right. They're saying, what does she want now? So you've got internal consideration going on. She's not using my time wisely. She's abusing me. She's misusing me. She's using me in a way that is not right. She's doing something to me, and it's not fair. She's not respecting my time, my energy, my efforts, and she doesn't appreciate me. Does this sound familiar? Yes. Now that's how you apply the fourth way system to this situation. You look at it and you track down, what are these things saying? What are these eyes saying? And you come to realize that these eyes are all about one thing and one thing only. Pure self-interest. They don't care about anything except yourself. It's a matter of self-love. It's a matter of, you have no right to demand anything. Forget that you gave birth to me. Forget that you sacrificed your whole life for me. Forget all that. That was then. What have you given me lately? See, that's how we treat our parents in this country. Okay, not everybody, but generally, that's how we treat our parents in this country. What have you given me lately? Yes, you gave me birth, but what have you given me? I didn't ask to be born. What have you given me lately? Except grief and... Uh, cause to complain and all these other negative emotions that I love like a fine wine. So let me just have a decanter of this and I'll sip on this for years to come. Makes going up there on Saturdays worthwhile. There you go. So how you apply the fourth way system to this ongoing situation is you continue to bring pressure to bear. And the pressure is the light of consciousness. And you bring it to the intellectual center and you use the intellectual center to see what the eyes are saying, what groups of eyes, what they're saying. And then you tell the truth about it. And the truth is, it's all about your internal consideration, your accounts. You're keeping internal accounts. And so you're in misery. And you're multiplying your misery by keeping internal accounts. And that's as it should be. And when you're tired of being miserable, which of course you never will be, because this is your precious suffering. Do you see that? Do you see how you suffer at the hands of your mother? You suffer because she's old now. You suffer because she's in a nursing home. You suffer because you have to drive all the way up there. Yeah, see the big smile on your face as you're seeing all of your suffering. And it's all ludicrous, isn't it? Suffering is insane. Our suffering is a lie. Our suffering is a lie. We lie about suffering all the time. We love to suffer. And being long-suffering, what could be better than that? Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Talk about tasty. Okay, does that answer your question? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> I figured it might. <laughs>